Welcome to WB Mason Post Game Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Sunday afternoon, the Mets pulled one out as they beat the Miami Marlins 4-3. to Mets were down all afternoon, but in the bottom of the ninth inning, Marlin Bird's base hit just over the third base bag drove in two, and the Mets had themselves a win. Some good at bats. Another, I mean, just solid at bats. Kirk's you sit there all game long, and then you come up in a big situation. You got to, got to hit, and you know you. Marlin goes in there, he's had a you know a little bit of a rough day, and come through. It's a, it's why it's a great game. You come in the game, you want you want to help right away. So that over two or two strikeouts uh, kind of leaves a sour taste in your mouth. But it, it was nice to come through. He's a quality veteran guy. He's a great person, you know. And again, to do what he did last winter to try to resurrect his career by going to the Mexican League and playing winter ball, you know, you're not going to find a lot of veterans do that. And and I so. So he knows he wants to continue to play, and he knows he's going to, he has a chance to make a contribution here. And, and I think you're going to see him prepared as anybody to, uh, you know, to whatever role we put him in or whatever situation we put him in. We got the team with scrap. We, we work hard, and uh, we put ourselves in a position to win in the ninth. <laughs> Is it at least whipped cream? I think so. That's a lot better. Well, it was just an interesting inning. You know, you thought Lucas Duda leading off was going to give you the best chance of tying up this game, but a nice job by Ruben Tejado. I think had his best of the six games. Uh, got hit by the pitch. Then Neuenheis came up with a big hit on a breaking ball that Tejada aggressively went first to third. Neuenheis was able to get to second base. And then Marlon Bird, nice clutch hitting, hitting that ball down the line from an infield that was in. Mike Redman, the manager, decided to play uh, a play that you and I both have never seen ever and it cost him. Mets struggled for five innings against the 20 year old right hander Jose Fernandez who made his major league debut struck out eight in those five innings and Aaron Laffey made his first start for the Mets gave up ten hits and four and a third but the Mets bullpen was front and center today. Yeah I think the first uh, the six games the first five games the bullpen kind of struggled with their control um, uh, other than Bobby Parnell uh, Scott Atchison was great again today but the other four relievers were equally as good they bend a little bit but they did not break and it was the difference in today's game and 31 year old Scott Rice after 14 years in the minors gets his first major league win. You know that bullpen keeping us in the game. Great job by Atchison getting out of trouble. Um, you know, getting us out of the jam. Greg Burke getting us out of trouble. Um, so, you know, that it comes down to that. And when you give yourself a chance to win, anything can happen, as we saw in the ninth. Fantastic job, everybody, through and through. Um, we picked each other up. We got out when we needed to. Um, big plays, big pitches. Defense played us nice behind us and, you know, kept us in the game. And, you know, we, we won. As the Mets take two of three for the Marlins, they've won their first two, ga two a series of the year. Now they go on the road for the first time to start a 10-game trip Monday night in Philadelphia. Matt Harvey, who was great in his first start, makes his second against Roy Halladay. Our coverage begins with Cadillac first pitch at 6 p.m. Monday night from Citizens Bank Park on SNY. That'll do it for WB Mason Post Game Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.